what is the word everybody we are here today with another video on something that i notice a lot of people seem to have a problem with they're trying to get audio from a couple of different applications or audio from a couple of different sources into one source because they're trying to either stream record a video or you know anything else something along those lines i've got the solution to your problem that solution is going to be elgato sound capture now this is perfect so like i said what this does is this routes your different sources for your audio into one audio source so that you can have it all in one place so like you have your off section like this is very straightforward it turns out gato sound capture off so then you can revert back to whatever main source you're trying to use but nine times out of ten most people don't switch for the simple fact that this being on it, it really doesn't do anything um i mean if you just go back and you set your settings how you need them to be like you running your different audios through say i want to hear the audio in my headphones and my tv that is an option i can do that you can also go through your team chat option now this here uh, basically like it says it routes any kind of chat to your uh audio output and it selects your audio input so what are you going to be talking into your microphone where do you want to hear everything at your headphones music that's gonna be the next one uh, this one is simple uh, when you turn on music mode all it will do is it'll uh, route your music audio through to whatever audio output you're trying to do this is uh, this is actually very easy to use so we'll do headphones it's the same thing with PC gaming where's your audio input gonna be where's your audio output gonna be you know and then finally there is oh didn't mean to do that there is oh what which output is there? Let me see the output. Oh. and then this is going to be where you're trying to hear your gameplay this is when you're going to select your uh monitor that you're using the capture utility you know whatever whatever that may be and then advanced uh, so here we have my audio input and then you're gonna want to select 4k you're gonna want to select Elgato sound capture to be your default playback if this is what you're going to be running nine times out of ten yeah so you're gonna want to run this select whatever your mic or input is going to be and then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna select your different sources so like i said your headphones your monitor all that good stuff now if you're trying to figure out how you can even edit the volume on it also but um if you're trying to figure out how to get access to elgato sound capture then what you need to do here is you need to make sure you have elgato elgato game capture hd and you can easily find that by going to google all you type in is Elgato. The right way. And then you go to Elgato. And then you're going to want to go to Downloads. Now once you get the Downloads, this is where you're going to keep scrolling. You're going to find your different you capture utilities that you can use. A different, like your Wavelink mic uh, utility. You got a control center for your different... Um, items that you're going to use like your stream deck your key light stuff like that you could they got the stream deck software but we don't need none of that we don't need none of that although that elgato audio effects will probably come in handy if you do a lot of audio editing but we don't need none of that we need elgato game capture this one right here this is the one so what you want to do is you want to hit download you can skip this part if you want to continue with that download excuse me 
and it'll start right here now once you start downloading this you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna open it up you're gonna make sure you run the whole download and everything and then you're gonna get back to here in the uh, multiple downloads I need that you're gonna come here where you're gonna have your game capture now what you want to do here is actually at the start of when you get this uh, when you download this it'll give you an option for the sound capture to be downloaded as a separate file you're gonna want to go ahead and do that if not then you're gonna have to go down here to Elgato sound capture click on the settings and then you can actually bring it out right here yourself and then you can also do with the commentary you can do your different stream setup stuff here but we're not here for that we are not here for any of that but we're here for this so like I said you just gotta go to game capture once you go to game capture you're gonna go down here to Gato sound capture and then you're gonna go ahead and hit that little settings you can even hit the I if you want to that's just gonna bring you right here to all the different uh, the users manuals and stuff that you're gonna need and there you go that's how you're gonna do it and like I say you're gonna want to set this as the de default device for playback and boom every time you start up your PC it'll automatically uh, root everything to your Gato sound capture and there you go guys I hope this was very informative I hope this helped a lot of people I know it helped me when I first found out about it but definitely 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 uh, use the software if you are going to be doing some game capture if you have a device that you're going to use for game capture definitely do have this on standby but if anything use it for the Elgato sound capture it's so elite super elite all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed let me know what else i could be doing better for this uh for the videos i do stream also peep the streams when i'm out here you guys will get some good quality content uh, but i appreciate you guys i uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in comment like subscribe dislike if you have to whatever I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.